goals and the return and the attention, but it's just not that simple. There's so much more development that goes on that no one even hears about and knows about, but it kind of just gets swiped up in, in the name of other things. But hey, we got a Mega Man on the screen. Speaking of other characters, I don't get to see that much. And Small Battlefield, I love seeing this stage. Just because it's like a little different, you know? I know it's it's old news now, but I'm still just so surprised they put a, like a, a whole new stage in this game competitively. F literally for the sake of competitiveness, because you always talk about how much Nintendo sucks and they hate the game, but then they randomly do that, which is actually kind of a, a meaningful change. This is low-key probably like one of the best patches. No, Peter, bro. That was an SD. That sucks. Sometimes you just spaghetti. Yeah, that's all right. Taunt, taunt it away. You definitely, there, there's ways that Mega Man can can take the stock right now. Metal Blade is probably okay. That up tilt is what you need, but you probably want to want a Metal Blade leading into it. Playing heads up on the ledge. You know, he's, he's there. We go. I like the liberal use of up tilt coming out from Peter, bro. That move is will leave you incredibly vulnerable. But man, if it doesn't hit, probably gonna want to be careful with that down smash though. Not a whole lot of redeeming values to that thing, unless someone's shield is broken or you're making a really good read. The one thing I will say is when you're Mega Man and you're playing against a character that is fast like Fox, sometimes it feels like your buttons are even clunkier than they usually are. Yeah, I saw those smash. Fox makes you feel like you're slow all the time. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Peter Bro throwing out these up smashes and I kind of love it. I love it, man. Let him have it, dude. Sure you can. Yeah, I appreciate people grinding Fox, too, because I know this character is plagued by a lot of weird stuff, especially online, and has kind of come from, like, some former glory of having some real BS. All right, there we go. Signs of life coming out from Peter Bro, who's kind of hanging in there. If, you know, if Peter Bro didn't have that SD earlier, uh, this game would be very much in... I mean, it's still in his reach. Yeah, that... Oof, back air hits, doesn't it? Not enough to kill. Mega Man's pretty freaking heavy. Yeah, Fox is still pretty good for sure. The thing about Fox now, too, is he has that down air that is a lot more functional. Yeah, that's that's the plague of the really fast characters with, like, good moves and good stuff. It's the same with Joker, honestly. Like, Joker does have, like, those periods where he can just mash back air when our sends around, but, like, if you're playing base Joker, you gotta be, like, sort of, like, good. Yo, that was kind of a hype freeze frame, though. Alright, so it's Panther. Going up game one. Looking pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, I gotta tell you, though, I do think that game would have been a little closer. This is a weird matchup in general. If you're Mega Man, you feel slow. You feel sluggish. If you're Fox, you're just always fast, and that's that's what it is. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how to like. I don't. To be honest with you, I actually don't even see that much Fox gameplay either. There's there's so many games in this, or I'm sorry, so many characters in this game. It's just like it's it's almost hard to know at this point. Like as much of the, this game as I watch too, because I, I watch this game literally five hours a week uh, on this stream alone, uh, and there's so many characters I still don't see. Yeah, Fox's recovery, very linear. Uh, that is definitely a thing about this character. And it does make him easy pickings, even for Mega Man, who might feel a little bit slow, because Mega Man has a really good... He has a really good time of punishing linear recoveries between Hard Knuckle and, and his, his aerials now, especially for uh, fair killing. Yeah, Fox is a weird character, isn't he? It's really hard to pin down, because, like, you see stuff like that, which probably shouldn't have worked, but... Um, does <laughs> sometimes <laughs> against like the right characters if, if you're not hitting the right directions but like yeah so he's got some stuff but then yeah like he gets thrown off stage and that's kind of it there's other characters that you get thrown off stage and you're just not dying then that really is a bit of a Wi-Fi thing 
People actually thought Joker was bad online for like a while. The argument could be made, but as long as Arsene still comes out, I don't think that character is going to be bad in any world. Yeah, you could totally just chill as Joker, just camp out, wait for your Arsene, <clears throat> just use Rebel's Guard all the time. Totally. It works, I've seen it. See, I've seen it at this local before. I say local, it's not, it's not local anymore, man. This is literally a whole continent of, of players. But it comes from a local. Alright, so yeah, so like even in this situation for Fox getting back, like Peter Bro's throwing a lot of stuff out, but like there is, is some calculation to be had in just predicting some of Fox's movements. Like you kind of catch him. And I see Panther really trying to smother Peter Bro, and, and he should be because the more room Mega Man has, the more hell of this he's going to have. And there we go, catching the landing with uh, something you don't see that much, which is just charge F smash. Return the favor of the F smash, though. But yeah, even just catching like the illusion off stage with pellet or anything, really, like like that's a, a setup to kill Fox right there, pretty simply. Despite what otherwise feels like a bad matchup for Mega Man, so Fox just has a lot of shortcomings like that, I guess. Yeah, Mega Man, a little bit of a different character online. There is definitely, you can definitely get away with some things per traditional zoning things you get away with, but... Um, I mean, Mega Man is also plenty exploitable. He's so heavy, like, he, he is the perfect combo food for a lot of characters. And, like, and Fox is one of those characters that just totally feeds on combo food. Mega Man's grabs fast in the game. I didn't know that either. That is also news to me. Alright, so... While I was looking away, Peter Bro gets himself a lead. We'll see what Panther could do. I feel like if... I feel like Panther's kind of been controlling the pace. Peter Bro's been hitting the like the right kind of buttons to get the kills. Um, and, and he's... Honestly, he's throwing out a lot of projectiles. And that's what you want to do as Mega Man. So literally what the character is. So he's doing the things he should be doing. Oh, trying to get the Metal Blade confirmed. Nice tech coming out from Peter Bro. And suddenly Panther wiping the sweat off his brow. I think he thought he kind of had that. And oh my god! <laughs> uh, that was well played. I gotta play that one back. That was kind of hype. Look at this whiff. Are you swinging? Dude, it happens. It happens sometimes. And that's... Like, like that's kind of the beauty of these Wi-Fi brackets, right? Like, not everything has to be perfect, man. Not everything has to be perfect. And if you lose, you lose. Uh, the stakes for these particular brackets are quite low now, since it is all free to enter. No prize at the moment. But I'm sure it'll come back at some point. So it's basically, if you feel like playing and you don't want to play, uh, you know, Elite or against Strangers, or you want to play against people that you might play against, play again, or you want to, you know, call me crazy, uh, not be salty in Smash GG chat and maybe make a friend, you never know, you might actually find some training partners out there. I know that's the biggest thing a lot of people want to know is um, basically how to find new people to play with or, or just like whatever because a lot of times it's so easy just to fall into elite smash but there's people out here man that are playing so if you run into someone in bracket who's giving you a hard time or really calling out some options like you could think they're bad you could think they're good doesn't really matter but if they're beating you or taking you close still good people to train with because they're obviously doing something that uh is exploiting something that you are doing poorly if, if you're getting caught by it and there's no shame in that that's literally why you play you just get a little better each time Yeah, 
so we'll see if things are any different with Wolf. I would say, I mean, I think Wolf is a better character, even if just for Wolf Laser, but... Um, I, you know, again, I don't, I don't really know these, I say these things as someone who, uh, plays this somewhat casually. I mean, I play this game a lot, but, like, I would say not to competitive level. So if I say a character's better, uh, don't get mad. From my mere observations, though, I will say I think Wolf is just a little bit of a better character in general. At least in this environment, where he's got, like, the quick frame data and, and like, the hard-hitting moves to, like, really do damage versus Fox, who's just a little bit more, like... A little bit less of that, maybe. I don't know. Just a little faster. Yeah, Wolf Lasers. <laughs> this is a pretty gross move. <laughs> it literally it beats everything. It's like the safest thing. Look at that. It just goes right through Mega Man to like a, a, a charged F Smash. Alright, yeah, land that up land that up smash, howling out the moon. Feeling pretty good. Looking to take this one home. And uh, yeah, this is game three. Winner will be heading to quarterfinals. So, uh, winner bracket life is at stake. And Mega Man, fair. Ah, it's, it, it's a lot better than it used to be, but still not enough to kill Wolf at 157 near the ledge. It really does depend what, what angle you hit at it with, though, to be fair. Yeah, Wolf is in that Palutena tier. I remember for a while when the game was brand new, seeing Wolf and Palutena pretty much. Uh, there's there's a few stretch of, of uh, locals where you'll see Wolf and Palutena pretty uniformly uh, throughout Grand Finals and Winners Finals and all that. If you look uh, even on this channel, but that was going to be a solid back here coming in. Looks like Panther is feeling plenty comfortable. Uh, that is going to be another up tilt coming out. Peter, bro, I appreciate it. He might not have a howl, but he does have a, uh, a stage victory warp, whatever you call that thing that Mega Man does. And there we go. Much better use of the Leaf Shield. That was the thing he did before I noticed Peter Bro was basically just kind of walk up on Panther with the Leaf Shields. And then even if it was being blocked, didn't get away. You kind of have to jump away with that, and, it's, and then it's safe. Yeah, I think Wolf has enough exploitable stuff to make him definitely not top five, but he's he's very much up there on the tier lists easily. He's just like kind of all around sort of good. Maybe not. Okay, wow, nice, nicely done by Panther. Good plays. So that's going to be Panther moving on, and I believe he's going to be playing against Sansko, which is, we're going to see that in a couple matches. So right now we got WebJP versus Z uh, Zsauce. Zsauce, I really want to know how to say your name right. I'm, I feel so bad if I'm just butchering it. So Zsauce versus WebJP coming up next, top 16, uh, moving right along here. Yeah, uh, Wolf's Recovery, that's pretty much it, right? That, that's pretty much the only bad thing. Which honestly, he has enough. To, like, there's enough that goes on with air dodges in this game that you can sort of like compensate for that crap. 